Today, I'm showing you how to create your own virtual assistant using MCP. Now, you might not know what MCP is yet, and it feels like a really complex AI technology that is only for developers and coders, but that's not true at all. I spent over 40 hours with this technology and find out that you can get the best out of it even without writing a single line of code. An example is building an AI virtual assistant that can handle your emails, manage your to-do, or schedule events for you just by uh, typing with them which is exactly what we're going to build in this video. I'm Ricardo, by the way. I built my own AI automation consultancy over the past two years. And my goal with this channel is creating the most practical AI use cases for business owners. Now, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about what a model context protocol or MCP actually is. You can think of MCP as a collection of toolboxes for your AI assistant. Normally, AIs like Claude or ChatGPT only generate tests by default. And uh, if you wanted to add different functionalities like searching the web or checking your emails, you needed to custom code this function. MCP servers solve these actual problems by standardizing the creation of the different functionalities. In this way, you don't need to create anything from scratch, you just need to install an MCP server, which is as simple as copy paste some text. If you need to manage tasks, you can use a task management MCP. If you need to read your emails, you can use a Gmail MCP and there are a bunch of MCP all uh, are on the web. Now, let's see how this can be set up in just a few clicks. So we will need a couple of things in order to make this work. First off, we're gonna need the Cloud the desktop over here. So you can download that directly from the Cloud website. And secondly, uh, the fundamental component over here is Node.js. You can download that directly through the Node.js uh, uh, website. This is so that uh, you can run all the different servers that are based on JavaScript. I don't want to bore you with the details over here, but it's... So in order to create our virtual assistant with MCP, we will need two key components over here. We will need the Cloud desktop because everything runs through this version of Cloud over here. And then we will need the Node.js. Node.js is basically uh, allows to install the different servers and make sure that the different servers work correctly. Once those are downloaded, um, there's also a bonus tool that I can suggest you over here, which is called Super Whisper, that can be used uh, to dictate uh, specific things uh, to the LLM. This is really powerful so that it saves you even more time when uh, you are dealing with emails, when you are um, looking at the task list or whatever the case may be. Now, I downloaded Clay, I downloaded Node.js, I'm within the Cloud interface, and over here, I need to go to Cloud, Settings. Uh, within the Settings, uh, I will have the Developer part, and uh, within the Developer, I will need to create on Get Started. We are now within Cloud Desktop, and uh, what we need to do is we need to go to the Settings, Developer, and then we click on Edit Config. This is the file. Now that everything is installed, we need to add the MCV servers that we uh, need. So in order to do that, we will go to this website over here, Composio.dev, which basically has a list of a lot of different servers, uh, MCP servers that can be used across a wide variety of different applications. The reason why we are using those is that they have uh, OAuth built in. So basically what you can do is you can log in once and uh, you don't need to do any kind of configuration on your end. You just need to copy paste one single command within the terminal. So over here, what we will do is we will search for Gmail, for example. And uh, within here, within the interface, uh, it will give you the installation steps. We can click on Cloud, and then we can click on Generate. And this will generate a specific command that we can use. Um, we just need to copy this command and then go back to uh, the terminal. So open a terminal window like the following and then uh, paste this command over here. This uh, will add uh, the MCP server related to um, Gmail. And uh, this is uh, the, the configuration that is needed. Now we will need to do the same for uh, Google Tasks and uh, uh, Google Calendar. So over here we can search uh, Google, for example, and then find uh, uh, Google Task and Google Calendar. So Google Task, select here, click on Generate, copy, go back over here and paste this. And then we will select Google Calendar also. Now, all of these three servers are added though. What we need to do is we just need to restart Cloud. So what I will do is I will restart Cloud over here. And uh, once this is restarted, what we can see in a couple seconds. Once Cloud is restarted, what we can see over here are, is this hammer over here. 
Within the Hammer, it mentioned the available MCP tools uh, that we have uh, over here. Uh, so like those are the different possible actions that can be performed directly within Cloud if you wanted to. And over here, you can have a read uh, and see which are the specific actions that uh, can be created. So over here, what I will do right now is uh, I will create uh, a setup because we need to log in uh, through the different uh, platforms. So let's say, um, Please uh, create a setup, uh, a setup for uh, Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Plus use related tools. Once I click on this, so what will uh, happen is we will have a specific window like the following. This window will um, allow to create a specific connection. So it will check if a connection is available. And uh, if the connection is not available, it will actually create a connection. So over here is doing that for Gmail, is doing that for Google Calendar, and also is doing that for Google uh, Tasks. So what uh, um, what is doing then is uh, we need to initiate the actual connection. So let's go to the initiation part for Gmail. Once uh, that's finished, uh, you will see over here a couple of URLs that you will need to open. So those are basically URLs to complete the authentication process. So we just click on this, we open a link, and then from here, we can choose a specific account. And in that way, we can log in and have um, the Gmail MCP connected with that specific account. So here we go to continue. And over here, I will have the authentication successful. And then I need to do the same thing for Google Calendar and Google Tasks. So let's uh, do that over here. Select Google Calendar and then select uh, Google Tasks. Okay, so the setup is done right now. And uh, what we can do is uh, we can proceed uh, and we can get started on uh, using the uh, MCP and using the assistant as we wanted to. So for example, what we can say is uh, we want to ask for uh, all the unread emails that we have, and uh, we want to have a summary of them and categorize those kind of emails. So we can say, uh, please uh, uh, give me a um, First off, I, I will mention that setup is done. Please um, check all the unread emails, categorize, do, uh, categorize those based on importance and uh, uh, give uh, me a summary for each of them as well as a list of action items. And now that the setup is done, we will start with uh, uh, the, the actual different commands over here. One unfortunate thing as it is right now is we will need to click uh, allow for this chat to run this. This is something that will be removed in the future, but uh, right now there's something that is present. So over here, um, it starts to run a, a lot of different commands to get specific emails, uh, to get a lot of different things. Um, right now it seems to be running the Gmail part with uh, all the different emails that are present within Gmail. And then once this is finished, it will start with uh, the categorization part. As you can see over here, it creates a uh, um, good email summary and categorization of the different elements uh, for each of the, uh, the different emails that are present over here. So over here we have a project, uh, which is a progress update, for example. Um, a summary related to what is mentioned within the email and then some specific action items that uh, we can have. So over here, we have a request for AI implementation consultation. We have this uh, uh, analysis process, implementation trends you can ignore. This seems to be a newsletter or something like that. And um, yeah, overall, what, you, what we have is we have uh, a action summary of different things that uh, we can do. So from this point, uh, what we can do is we can set up uh, uh, or we can create a specific request or specific things. Like for example, for this part related to Acme Inc, uh, we want to say, please uh, add to the task list uh, the following item, schedule consultation with Acme Inc. I click on the specific things and then right now we will use Google Tasks uh, to create the actual task. Okay, we'll start and also add a couple notes related to that. Now let's go back to, and here it is, this task itself for scheduled consultation, everything is mentioned. And then there's also a due date that was added directly over here. Another thing that we can do directly from, uh, from here is, uh, let's say that we want to schedule a specific event. So let's say, um, 
schedule the team meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m. So schedule the team meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m. with uh, uh, Ricardo at Uplift Consulting. So in this way, I'm, I'm able to use Google Calendar and use uh, uh, the calendar version of it to get uh, all the different information and schedule an event in an automatic way. As you can see, an event was created over here. Uh, so I mentioned that the event was created. And uh, if I go back over here to the actual calendar itself, I can see that uh, the uh, project uh, Apex Team Meeting was actually uh, created over here. So it seems 2 p.m. 2 PM UTC. Uh, I think this is different time zone. That's the reason why I put this over here. But uh, um, other than that, that is it. And those are just uh, three specific use cases. Keep in mind that over here in the Composio library, you can add uh, more use cases. So let, let me go back to Composio, to Composio.dev. So those are just the three examples of specific uh, use cases where you can use this. But keep in mind, this can be added also on other different parts of the business as well. So for example, if you want to create a document, uh, you can create that either a Google Sheet or a Notion document. If you want to reply to a message, uh, you can also do that. If you want to modify different things within your CRM, that can be also added over here. So the possibilities are actually endless and it's uh, uh, like the only thing that you need to do on your side is just click on the specific tool that you need to use, such as AppSpot, go to Cloud and then generate this. So this is the way you actually create uh, a um, VA directly using MCP. So there is it. Hope this was useful. Catch you soon in the next video. Bye.